it is not only a memory maker, but the ride of a lifetime. Right on with Tiger Boats here and uh, Jeff at the 2013 International Toronto Boat Show. Uh, pleased to meet you. Um, we were talking about Tiger Boats and the hull specifically on uh, the Z3 here. Let's have it. <laughs> well, <clears throat> Tiger has a little bit of a different philosophy on their hull shaping. And really what that is is the convex V and the TAPS 2 system. And those two are designed to work together. Okay. So if we look at the bottom of the hull, and I'll exaggerate a little bit just with my hands for effect. Most other manufacturers create a bit of a hook in the back of the hull, which allows boats to plane. It's a great idea to get them up on plane and down. Yeah. Okay, uh, works very well. What <clears throat> what what it does though is once you're now up on plane, your only choice is to have that hook in the hull. Okay. Yeah. So what it does is as the water starts to flow off the back of the hull, it creates a little bit of turbulence and a little bit of rough water, so a little bit less clean wake as it comes out the back of the boat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tiger's philosophy is allow the water to flow seamlessly off the back of the boat, similar to a wakeboard or a water ski, how they glide seamlessly across the water, okay? They have a little bit of a gradual convex upturn at the end. It allows the water to exit cleanly off the back of the boat, yeah. a very, very clean shape for your surf wake or for your wakeboard wake, okay? Yeah. Now you're going to ask me how does it get on plane <laughs> if you don't have a hook, right? Yeah. So that's where the TAPS-2 system comes into effect. So the TAPS-2 is an adjustable wake plate. So if you put the TAPS down, it gets on plane extremely quickly because you can put more of a hook than you even would if it was molded in. Yeah. But now what we can do is once it's on plane, we can use that to modify the shape of the wake. Okay. Seen. So there's different components to the wake. So we've now talked about how clean the wake is as it comes off the back of the boat. So yep. you have a nice clean wake. Yep. There's amplitude of the wake, how much ballast you have in the boat. Tiger's options are a standard 900, 1600, or on this boat, 2300 with the pro <laughs> system straight from the factory, 2300 pounds. So we've got lots of amplitude. Yep. So now we've got a clean wake, lots of amplitude, and now we have the ability to actively shape the wake. You don't have to. You don't have to settle for whatever shape comes out the back of the boat. With a Tiger, you can customize nice. your wake. You want it a little bit more mellow. You want a little bit more rampy. You want more vert. Whatever works for you. Wow, some serious thought went into that one. That's for sure. Can uh, Jeff? Can we go in and uh, have a look on the inside of the Z3? Sure. sure. Come on through. You'll notice. You'll notice that there's a lot of freeboard here at the back. Yeah. With with the size of the surf wakes that are coming now, as you pull the boat off plane, we want to make sure that that wake isn't ending up in the middle of your boat <laughs> and you're knee deep in your surf wake in the <laughs> yeah. middle of the boat. So lots of lo lots and lots of freeboard here. You've got a nice seat to be able to sit down, put on your put on your wakeboard, yeah. get your gear all ready. Wet storage in both compartments here. Okay, so you can yeah. keep your wet storage in there. As we step over and in, and you're not even stepping on the uh, no no need to step on vinyl anywhere exactly. here. Exactly. And but you're not compensating with with losing a seat. This unique system seat goes right back in. Yeah. You don't even notice it. Totally seamless. And if Very you want to nice. step, you've got to step. Yeah. Okay. You have wet storage in both sides here. And and if you do want. Uh, that sun pad for lounging, reversible. Okay. Well, there you go. So we can just put this right in here, and there we are. And we have a pad. An instant pad. Okay. So here we have 900 pounds uh, of ballast fixed in hard tanks between the two sides and the bow. Yeah. Now this one is equipped with the with the surf wake, so the 1600 pound version. There is a piggyback system that as it starts to inflate, knocks its way down and out. The piggyback system fills up. Now, <clears throat> now you've got all of your weight in the boat without having a fixed tank that's taking all of your space in here. And when you when you empty it all out, it all goes back in behind. Smart. Okay. As we come back into the cockpit, lots of room, 102 inch wide beam. So lots and lots of elbow room here to deal with. Have a small party on here. <laughs> this, this is our exclusive Z-Cline seat. Uh, Armrests, up and down, adjustable. We also have the only the only seat in the industry that the back reclines. So now you can make it absolutely comfortable to you. All right. Of course, flip up bolster that everybody wants. Oh. <laughs> and 
rotates yeah. forward and aft and reclines now. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, so so if we <coughs> if we step through to the bow, you have a cooler, okay? And a big one at that. Yeah. And as we step up here, we go with the, with a, a playpen theory, so everybody's allowed to lounge out in the bow. Lots and lots of room. You have under the center cushion. We have a Lexan, uh, a Lexan wind deflector that now has its own storage place instead of bouncing around inside yeah. inside the cockpit and wondering where it goes. Very, very deep. You can settle your way in here and large, large aluminum handrail. To Let me lounge with you here. I'm 6'2". I can sit. There oh, lots of room. And oh, no doubt. We got room for somebody in, in, oh, exactly. in front between us here. So lots and lots of room in the boat here. Very nice. Very nice. All right. It's... Hopefully we can get over to that newer one there, the Z1. Yes. Yeah, this is brand new for 2013, the, the Tiger Z1. Uh, pattern really after the Z3, because of the popularity of the Z3, which was introduced last year, uh, Tiger completely retooled the Z1 to match uh, a lot of the characteristics of the Z3, but in a smaller package. Okay. People familiar with the Z3 will notice some of the characteristics. The high freeboard at the stern, the walkover here. Yeah. And inside, of course, the arena, the arena layout, and the great borrowing, the great idea from the Z3. Yeah. The step down, so Very everybody clever. can hop in and out. Absolutely, and saving the uh, the upholstery. The upholstery, right? exactly. We also have what's called the Poseidon mat. So our matting is is a uh, basically a, a woven plastic so it never holds any water at all as opposed to the 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 wet smelly dog carpeting that, <laughs> that, yeah. that you get um, this if you hold it up under a tap water goes right straight through it so you can stick this in the lake and stick it back in the bottom of your carpet or in the bottom of your uh, of your flooring but totally comfortable on your feet especially if you don't like that wet dog smell yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. if we look at the dash Oh, well, we got power. We got power. We'll turn on the Tiger Touch. Tiger was uh, was first to market in 2009 with uh, the touchscreen computer, and they keep uh, they keep improving and modifying it. Yeah. It was designed on the idea of a uh, of an iPhone, basically. Uh, the owner Charlie Pigeon uh, came into a meeting and he said, "I want a touchscreen," and he said, "But I'm not really that technical." He said, "Make it work like this, and I'm happy." So. Yeah. The whole screen is based on a touch screen with a home button. So the home button is just like the single button on your iPhone. Yeah. So as we get six or eight screens deep into your into your screens on it, so we've got all the, you can turn the nav lights on and off, your tower color lights, etc., cetera, uh, or everything all, all on or all off. If we want to go right back to the beginning and start working on our wakes, just hit your home screen and we go into Tiger U. Yeah. So this is where we've downloaded all of all of our specific settings up to 20 settings into the Tiger Touch. Yeah. We now have a an iPhone app with called the uh, Tiger U. You go in, you customize all of your apps sitting on the couch in the living room exactly how you want your tap setting to be, Sweet what your that. ballast, what your ballast to be, your speed. Yeah. As soon as you enter the boat, because we're Bluetooth enabled now, as soon as I enter the boat, all of my settings on my iPhone are Bluetooth right right into the uh, the Tiger Touch unit. Sweet. The other thing the Bluetooth means is that all of my playlists, all of my tunes, everything that's in my pocket right now, when I come on, is now in the stereo system. It's all there. It's all here. So we have the ability now to have your two 10-inch uh, Rev 10 speakers. There's also the opportunity to put eights or tens, an additional set on here. And you've got six speakers on the interior. You have a 1,000-watt amp for the interior of the boat, a 700-watt amp for the for the tower just dedicated to the tower and now all of your tunes that are with you everywhere you go are instantly the in, party starts now the, the party starts <laughs> now here no here we are and and the same idea with the walkthrough in the z1 so you've got the extended play pan that comes right up between <clears throat> between the two bustles yeah so you can lounge right out right back through into the bustle so if you have a lot of people and there's legs coming back through you've got lots of padding lots of room cooler and and a uh, and a wind block as you come up. Very nice. Okay. Uh, just like our hull designs, uh, when we decided what we were going to do next, what was the next step in wake surfing, we chose a different path than the rest of the manufacturers. We chose to try and create professional size wake surf wakes for the average user. Okay. So 
as, as we discussed, as water exits the back of the convex V, it comes out very clean and smooth and at a large amplitude. So what we've done is extend that convex V, as in convex VX, which we're talking right here. Okay. So picture this being your swim platform attached yeah. to your boat, and your boat is right here. Now we have the tongue that sticks out even with the, the rest of the convex V, and, and you can see it convex V acts as it still continues to come up here, and you'll notice that the, that the trailing edge is perfectly shaped to create the perfect lip as it's coming out the back of the boat. Okay? Uh -huh. So now you have the perfect shape coming out the back of the boat, and as you're now on plane, the tongue is, is depressed. Imagine this as a tongue depressor, pushing water down, and the water is displaced back up and into yeah. an increased amplitude of the wake. Okay. Pushing, pushing the bow, the, yeah, the stern of the boat right down then. That's right. And now now this tongue, just like a tongue depressor, pushing on the water, and it comes back up yeah. the other side. Now the real key to the convex VX is this unit right here. Okay? Mm -hmm. We thought about what what kind of energy are we wasting when, when we're creating a wake. Okay? okay? And any wake surfer will tell you that one of the... The, the most irritating parts and the biggest waste of energy is the huge rooster tail that's right in front of you while you're surfing. So there's a pile of energy that's coming off the propeller and shooting straight up into the air, creating this rooster tail that, you know, if it's windy or if it's crumbling onto you, it's an irritant, if anything. Yeah. So we've decided to harness that energy. So the energy that was a rooster tail and coming off the propeller now is redirected dynamically down into the wake, shooting water down under the wake, and all that energy from the propeller and the rooster tail is now in the wa in the wake underwater, boosting that wave, boosting that wave yeah, by yeah. several times now up up up. So the the wasted energy that was a rooster tail is now under the wake, lifting the wake. That is extremely clever. So the the push that you get from that, yeah. the force and the push that's mm -hmm. pushing you forward, is allowing us to stretch the sweet spot of the wake. So now we have a sweet spot in our wake that's. 15, 20 feet long, you can start to surf faster. The tricks that are possible yeah. are, are, are bigger, longer. You have the ability to try more tricks because your recovery is easier in, in a longer sweet spot. Okay, uh, well, Jeff, we were just talking about um, when you're uh, surfing and all that kind of thing. How about when you're not surfing, when you just want to go cruising around? That's a great question, Marcus. Uh, because the convex VX uh, continues the convex, so it's coming back up and out of the water, and, and its initiation point against the hull is recessed upward by about a centimeter. As soon as you get the boat on plane, the convex VX actually doesn't touch the water at all. So it, it's just simply hanging in the air, in the, in the airspace between your platform and the water surface. So it doesn't contact the water at all, so there's absolutely no effect. So it, it, out of play? It's totally out of play. I, I was driving one myself yeah. in Texas two weeks ago, and it was a concern of mine. So yeah. I did everything I could do, throwing the boat into corners and trying to put it sideways into a wake to see if I could feel. I could tell no difference that the convex VX was on the boat than if it wasn't there. Exactly the same as a normal driving boat. Okay. So, yeah. All right. That's excellent. Thank you. So it's there when you want yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't affect anything when you don't. That's the yeah. best part about that's it. That's the best part about it. Okay, Jeff, well, thank you very much from Tiger Boats. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for, thanks for joining me.